Diodes are a crucial component in electronics that acts as an electrical one-way check valve. A diode is created by combining two materials, P-type and N-type. The term diode means two electrodes, and that's exactly what it has. The positive electrode is called the anode, and the negative electrode is the cathode. The point where these two materials meet is called the junction. The N-type material contains one extra electron, while the P-type material has holes, essentially empty spaces waiting to be filled with electrons. This difference is what makes diodes so special. If we connect the positive terminal of the battery to the P-type material and the negative terminal to the N-type material, the electrons from the N-type material move into the P-type material to fill the holes. These electrons are replaced by the flow of electrons from the battery. As a result, current flows through the diode with low resistance. This is called forward bias. In forward bias, electrons move toward the holes in the P-type material, and holes move toward the electrons in the N-type material. This creates a smooth path for current to flow. But what happens if we reverse the battery? If the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the N-type material, the electrons are pulled away from the junction toward the positive terminal of the battery. No electrons cross the junction, and no current flows through the diode. This condition is called reverse. Since current cannot flow without electrons moving across the junction, the diode presents high resistance, effectively blocking the current. So there you have it. Diodes are like one-way streets for electricity. In forward bias, they allow current to flow with low resistance. In reverse bias, they block current by offering high resistance. It's a simple but powerful concept.